Hello, I'm Craig Burnback with this EPS Inspires update. Not only are students at Y East Middle School in a new school this year, they also have a new mascot and a new logo. Given that Y East is the Native American word for Mount Hood, Evergreen Public Schools felt it was important to honor this connection to Native American culture. So the school and the district connected with the Cowlitz tribe. And now, Y East has a brand new mascot and a brand new logo created by Cowlitz tribal member and artist, Sarah Folden. My name's Sarah Folden and I'm an artist. I'm a Cowlitz tribal member. Pretty Pacific Northwest strong. I, I take a lot of pride in my sense of place and my artwork. Um, I've added Coast Salish elements, so it's a contemporary Coast Salish style. Uh, we're using traditional elements found in carvings from like three to five thousand years ago in the area. And um, I enjoy that piece of it because it's really connecting what we're doing today to our history here. And so every time that I'm able to bring a piece of that back, I'm reclaiming something and kind of setting an identity, not really for myself, but for everyone else around. Um, it, it's, it's continuing a piece of culture. It was an amazing experience. Um, it was also super healing for me. I have created a lot of art, but I also stopped making art for a long time. There was a good 20 years or so that I didn't, I didn't really have anything to do with art. In high school, I was an advanced art student, and it was a big part of my identity. I was Cowlitz, and I was an artist. And during a really kind of critical point in time for me, as we're developing like who we are, getting a real sense of identity, um, my school had an Indian mascot, and um, it was a little bit strange for me at the time. I didn't understand terms like cultural appropriation back then, but I knew that my school was honoring my ancestors who lived there, right there on the land where the school was at. But it didn't feel that way to me, and it was always kind of confusing when I would walk the halls or be at events, and there would be silly t-shirts with made-up Indian names and headdresses, you know, made out of paper feathers, which isn't even <laughs> connected to uh, my ancestors right here. Um, it was tough. It was a little strange for me. And when I was involved with an art project that um, I didn't feel comfortable with, it was, it was painting a red feathered headdress. And I, I didn't like it. I didn't want to do it. I was, I was kind of the tr troubled kid. I was, I was not um, looked at very kindly in that class for not wanting to participate. And it, it took away a little piece of my identity at the time. And so I just kind of stopped. Um, so fast forward 20 years <laughs> and I'm working for the tribes and I'm going to a tribal college and I'm reclaiming lots of parts of my history and myself that I'm proud of. And then I'm able to work with Y East and you all and the students and get kind of a collaborative project going together and changing a mascot that could have been really hurtful to kids just like me who are developing their identity into something like this that has the support of our tribe and has built a lot of bridges was a pivotal point in my life, like changing some things. And like most importantly, I'm just so glad that any kids walking down the hallway in the future can have something that they see a little touch of their ancestry and, and can be proud of. This one's fun for sports. 
it, it honors the other, the other artwork and the culture. It's better than I hoped. Yeah, and it's gonna, it's gonna outlast um, you know, any of us. It's a legacy here, and I, I think that would be our greatest hope. And I, I didn't actually know her, her full story until she came at the beginning of the year and she, she was willing to share that uh, with our staff, which I think was really meaningful. But um, for her to see that spark going forward and inspiring young artists. This Look is, at this. So people are recreating this for the yearbook. So students drew this. I love that. So these are people taking your art and making it their art. This is the coolest thing I've seen <laughs> through the whole project, the whole entire project. I love this. I mean, that's a pretty good. There are some great artists here. <laughs> these are these are amazing. I love how that one's got the dream catcher. This was very similar to one of the original designs I had where the claws were out with the face. This is great. Those drawings that you saw Sarah looking at, well, they're from a student art competition for the upcoming Y East Middle School Yearbook. Now, we want to thank Sarah Folden and the Cowlitz Tribe for their partnership with Y East Middle School and to Sarah for taking the time to come visit here with us. For Evergreen Public Schools, I'm Craig Burnback.